Keep it going for Zach. Wow. So nice to meet Large Marge. Zach's mother died during childbirth, I assume. Um, Zach takes shits in his bed because his career is in the toilet. Oh boy. We were on the same flight, Zach and I, coming here. I was in seat 2A, he was in seats 8A, 8B, and 8C. Bobby Kelly and Ari are here, and we go camping together. Meet Bobby and Ari, Bushcraft Party Boys, check it out. Bobby teaches about camping. He teaches us how to hang our food in the trees in case he comes rooting around late at night. We bring a bear bag, a bobby bag, and a body bag in case he passes away. I don't want to do jokes about Bobby being fat because it's obvious and I love him. So I want to talk about Bobby being a hoarder. Bobby hoards so much fat in his stomach, it's... <laughs> Why, we only have five minutes! Uh, thank you, though. Bobby did officiate my wedding, it was nice. He did a great job. He did bring three talentless interns to stand next to him while he did it, but... Um, that was a you-know-what-to joke. I don't know if you guys listen to the podcast. He's got a bunch of people that aren't funny on there. Um, A lot of people here think COVID is a hoax. Uh, I didn't think that until Bobby got it and didn't die. <laughs> Dan Soder's here, one of my best friends. You might recognize him from billions of stupid fucking voices he does on the radio. <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought someone was coming after me. <laughs> that was terrifying. Soder almost got SNL, but uh, we all lucked out, because instead of that, he gets to be the 17th most important character on Succession for Retards. <laughs> Soder is a sober guy like me, totally sober, other than the weed he smokes all day, every night and day. Other than that, he's dead Soder. Sorry, dead Soder's his dad. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Soda used to have Shane Gillis open for him, which is amazing. They're both great. Uh, they're very close. Nobody was more upset about the Shane SNL incident than Soda. But then Shane got fired and Soda was happy again. <laughs> Dan and Jay host a radio show together. A big thing on radio shows is contests. Here's a contest. Free concert tickets to anyone that can get a word in on your show. Their motto is crackle, crackle, the sound the stool makes when Jay sits on it for his entire set. <laughs> Shane Gillis is here, I love Shane. Shane's hard to write for, he's very talented, but uh, Shane, you have a drinking problem. It's pretty clear to everybody. If you're looking for a sign, if you're looking for a sign that it's time to quit, look in the mirror, your face looks like a stop sign. Shane is younger than Soda, but he's like a father figure. Because he's a fat alcoholic who can't keep a job. <laughs> Sorry, I got a lot of Soda and Bobby jokes, because you roast the ones you love. So I'm skipping Tony. Um, <laughs> you know, Big J is a Jew. It's hard to tell, he's nothing much Jewish about him, other than he chains his wallet to himself. <laughs> Ari Shafir is a Jew, as you know. Ari looks like a caricature Hitler wrote on a particularly mad day. Ari criticized Chris Rock for being lazy. Ari, you leave the country for six months every time you do a gig. Nothing. Uh, Kim Kong did more like King Kong, you chubby climber. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I really like Kim, I'm sorry. Kim is only here because Lewis made her come for the first time. Lewis is hard to roast because I just have so much love and respect. Oh shit, this one's about Bobby. Never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 